Knew she wasn't right in the head when she ate a skin cancer sandwich right in front of me. We forgot to make tea. Doesn't matter. Okay. Hey, everyone. Look, it's episode number 31. That's right. We're on the home stretch now. We've got 10 episodes left of the season. So these next 10 are going to be so good. Man, we're trying a new segment this week called we- Secrets. We're just going to read out lots of secrets from our fans. Like, and we read some of them and, and I was like, oh my God, man. Remember? It's crazy. Remember that? We read some and it was like crazy shit, man. Look at what Michael's wearing. He looks like Barney's been raped by a massive football team. Remember that Barney character? That yeah, purple I've fucking dinosaur fucking cunt thing? Do you thing? remember Barney? Yeah. What about the one? Who's the McDonald's purple dude? Oh, Gr- Grimace! We forgot to talk about this other the other day when we were going through TV shows. Who remembers Johnson and Friends? Oh, yeah. The fucking water bottle. The elephant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. That, that, they're good boys, eh? Them good boys, them. I wonder what they're doing now. You know what I mean? Because that's going to be us. Whatever they're doing now, that's what we'll be doing when we're older. Well, that's why we watch them. Because we are. Matt? Oh, yeah, the fucking truck. Yeah, and there's like, I'm pretty sure there's a fucking spring thing fucking music maker. Yeah, he's like purple. He's got a blue head or something. Yeah, oh, it's yellow. It's fucking yellow. Yeah, he's yellow in the thing, but he's got a blue head. Yep, sorry. I attacked you then. Apologize. It's all good. Um, Guys, it's been a very stressful uh, period of our lives. I'll tell you why, all right? Um, So, as you all know, we make our bulk of our living from uh, Facebook and YouTube views. And uh, very recently, our Facebook group was deleted permanently. 150,000 members. That is a good effort. All gone. Very engaging group. We loved it. You know, we're funneling a lot of our cool fans. Gone. Woke up. Boom. Gone. Not only that, because it's connected to our Facebook page, our Facebook page might also be getting deleted now. No joke. No shit. For no reason. Flagged for terrorism. I'm not even fucking making this up. Our page was flagged for terrorism because our Facebook page got deleted. Trying to contact our people group, at Facebook. Yeah. Our group, sorry. Trying to contact people at Facebook. No no one can help. Like, it's just fucking unbelievable. You, you can't you can't make a living. It's it's too fucking unpredictable. That is why... This is exactly why we started the website. Because we knew it's so fucking volatile. And so, if you want to support us... Please subscribe to our website, okay? Because soon we're going to be gone. It's all going to be on an app soon. It's all going to be much, much better. So sign up to the website. That's where we're putting all of our awesome content because we can't post the shit that we want to post to social media anymore because if we make- It gets deleted. If we make one more slight mistake now, from now for the next three months- our page will be gone forever. So we've got a backup page as well on Facebook. So go give that a follow. Because if our page is gone, and guess what? We're going to have to start posting to our backup Facebook page, which is at like 7.5K page likes or something. Shit like do you know, that. Do you know how hard, how long it's taken to get to that? Not only that, YouTube, like we, we make fucking fuck all from YouTube because all our videos are demonetized. TikTok's all right, I guess. Instagram, we've got a restriction on Instagram. So we don't grow on Instagram anymore. No one can tell us why we have a restriction nothing was removed so social media is so volatile so fucking intense right now it's like it's been very stressful but we've been filming we've got videos backed up and we're ready to start posting again this sunday but if you all of a sudden can't find our facebook page anymore it's been deleted and we're probably not gonna have to go back to being tennis coaches well, exactly if you guys want lessons all right We'll do them for what? 40 an hour. We used to charge 70. You used to start. You used to charge I, like sometimes, I, sometimes I charge well over 100. So, tennis. If we can't fucking get our pages right, we're going back to tennis. No, nah, we should be fine. You know, we've thought about it. Worst case scenario, we lose the Facebook page. We'll just promote the website with our Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube still. Plus, we have this beautiful podcast that we, that we just do for fun. I have acne. So, if you want to... Support us, fucking subscribe, sign up to our website, all right? It's fucking $7 a month. It's like fucking 20 cents a day or some shit. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's been our life the last week. It's been quite a stressful little period. What else has been going on? I think we've got a few brand deals oh. we're doing now because we're accepting them. We usually say no fuck off. 
but we're accepting them now because we don't get fucking any views because our reach is fucked because we're not making a fuck all money anymore <laughs> so yeah we're tennis coaches but we're we very, are now officially tennis coaches but we're very grateful for the website subscribers thank you you guys are making our lives still a possibility that we can just do this full time Okay, but um, if yeah. we didn't have that website, we would be so I'd be, scared. I'd be sucking, I'm still I'd be sucking right your now. fucking I've dick got on acne. OnlyFans, cunt. I'd be sucking your fucking dick clean up, can't I? Slob a dob, Ooh. slob a dob down the fucking shaft, you fucking can't I? Oh, <laughs> bit of teeth. Imagine that sound. Oh, Do I'd the gag my, sound. I'd press my tongue up hard against the bottom shaft of your <laughs> cock, <laughs> and I'd fucking, I'd put, I'd go in slow <laughs> and then suck out fast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, there's okay. always that we can turn to. Thank yeah, you, so babe. actually, if we do get it, yeah, we'll go porn before tennis coaching. Porn, drug dealing, tennis coaching in that order. Mm. Or all three at the same time. But we should be fine. No, we're not that. We're not that worried. But it's yeah, just gonna be stressful. Fuck, man. It's th- like we've got friends that are getting demonetized for nothing. It's like it's really difficult to be an influencer at the moment. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, yeah, getting a real job now. But like once you make make that leap and try and become a fucking influencer, it's very we can't hard to go stay there. get a fucking job down the road at a school anymore. I can't go. Yeah, imagine if we fucking applied for a job at Wholesome, Matt. What would happen? They'd say, I've seen you. I know who you are. Get out. And we'd be escorted out by police and security guards. You should have got... Even if you did have your fucking school teacher degree, you wouldn't be able to get that job anymore. No fucking way. Those kids wouldn't respect me. Oh, well, the parents would get the, would You wouldn't fair. get the They'd have a stern I wouldn't get the job word to with begin you. With. I wouldn't get the job to begin with. The parents would have a stern word. We've startled Bosley. <laughs> Sorry, Bosley. Oh. You're talking about snick nick huh? So yeah, that's the uh, news so, so far. So yeah, we're, we're we're stopping social media. Basically. No, well, no, we're not. But we're we're we got to. I just tread, wanted to scare him for a second. We dro- We got to tread carefully for a little bit. All right, but yeah, we we will be fine. Don't worry about us. Worry about fucking Matt. Matt, you've had some. You've tell him. Matt, tell him he doesn't want to. Don't pressure him. You can just tell him parts of it. Can you see my acne from there? Yeah, I can. Fuck you. That's how stressed I am from all this. Maybe Actually, I can't. You pointed at it. Now Now it's very clear to me that you pointed at it. Do you remember that? I'm a teenager when, again. When we first started podcasts, we were demonetized shortly after. Remember that? I was looking through the podcasts the other day and there's one where demon- And we made it through. So, we'll make it through. We'll be fine. Yeah, but this isn't just fucking being demonetized. This is losing our page. Yeah, but- Four got- million people. Yeah, but we got other- We'll be fine. We'll just- it'll it'll. The- if you want to help us, please- Get to the university. Um. Anyway, moving right along. That's what else? Because that's do? all we have. Do we- that's what's safe. We can do what we want, and no one fucking tells us what to do or says, "Hey, we're demonetizing or we're taking it oh, away." If the gods of Facebook are listening by any chance, yeah, they always are. We got our like, phone. No, no, no. I don't, we don't want them listening. Please don't. Please, Facebook God, just leave us alone. Just look at someone else. We're following all the rules. Please, just don't even look into us. Just leave us be. God. I just love to know. Mark, is it Mark? I'm is that his name? What the fuck's the leader of Facebook's name? Mark. Um, yeah. yeah, so that's our fucking life at the moment. But hey, we'll bloody get through it. We've, we've been bloody poor, poor. We've been bloody poor as bloody dogs before, and it what wasn't so there? bad. Oh, guys, you get to see Matt. He's yeah, in his Matt underwear. In his undies, eh? <laughs> Come here, you little fucking slayer. Speaking of Matt and his undies, I saw him creeping through the bedroom windows at three a.m. so he could start his research. Oh yeah. And wow, Matthew, there's Is some it- crazy shit here. Did we offend anyone this week? Not or yet. last week? Not yet. Oh, look, there might be some people the not over here. There's, uh, there's a couple of things here that are a bit touchy. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, let's jump straight in. <laughs> On this day in 2016, Conor McGregor was found to be using elderly men as sparring partners. The 80-plus-year-old men were lured to his gym with the promise of a game of bingo. Once there, the coaches put them straight in the ring and Connor would have 30 seconds to render them unconscious with Eric's, with experimental moves like the no-look coward punch and the heart stopper, which is a straight kick directly to the heart. The elderly men would then be dragged from the ring and placed in a large industrial bin outside. It is believed that Connor sparred with the elderly men to improve his confidence. Well, that explains his fucking attitude. Is he going to fight again? Yeah. Matt? Fighting soon. Uh, yeah, Poirier, I think he's going to fight Dustin Poirier soon, but he keeps saying he's working up to fight Manny Pacquiao. So, How old know. is she? 
15. He's like 28, I think. Wow. I'm fucking I thought, old. Oh, hang on. No, I, I think check. he's 30. I Let think he's check. 30. Do you reckon- Matt's no. going to check. You can hear him typing, everyone. Listen. Listen closely. Yeah. Hear it? Well, way off. Of it. He's thirty-two. Thirty-two. There you go. So he's older than us. So like, we've still got a few couple of years to reach that wealth if we were to compare lives, or even to skills. Maybe we should just start bashing dogs. Anyway, on this day in two thousand and eight, LeBron James invested in buying and selling helicopters. Oh, he would buy old, damaged helicopters and fix them, and then sell them, usually to fellow athletes. His helicopter business was booming until early this year when he recently sold one to his good friend Kobe Bryant. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but there were a few issues with it and Kobe didn't really like it or something. Who's LeBron James? That basketball dude. Never heard of him. He just won the uh, NBA championship with the Lakers. Well, it'd be interesting to find out what happened to Kobe there. Maybe we could Google it. Uh, uh, nothing on it, but um, LeBron James is probably the next best player since uh, Jordan. That's crazy, wow. man. We might get Kobe on here. I'll give him a call. He can come over with his helicopter. Apparently, he loves flying them. Is that right, man? Do you, Brown? Is that is that correct? He likes he, flying. He's just a passenger usually. Okay. All right. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I'm sure there's a joke hidden deep in there somewhere, isn't there? I have acne. <laughs> on this day in 1987 Tony Robbins broke his snout while frolicking with other horses they were galloping near the boundary fence when Tony stepped into a pothole he snapped his knee and went flying face first into the fence his snout was badly broken and needed nine steel screws in it to hold it in place after the incident Tony stopped playing with the other horses and thought it was time to grow up he started his stand up comedy career shortly after and although his audience rarely laughs at his jokes he still manages to sell out venues and has become very successful is name that him, is, I mean, is that name him comedy name a movie with shallow hell's in that shallow hell's in shallow fuck Hell. it gave it Jack away Black. it gave it away Tony Robbins is in shallow hell I knew it see you fucked that up totally you gave the name the answer in the question yeah, I'm just stressed. I got acne. My, my page is almost gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in 2015, Paris Hilton released her new perfume range called My Menstruation. Mm. She developed the formula herself and even added her own actual menstruation in. Paris promoted a new, new perfume but range by throwing buckets of the scent onto the audience during her DJing gigs. The bottles of perfume had to be recalled, however, when a number of people developed blood infections and three ladies even became pregnant from the perfume. My name is Matt Brown and I research these personally. Wow. Fun facts. This is going from last week's episode. We were talking disgusting, about Nick Carter. Oh, now, yeah. He's from the Backstreet Boys. He dated Paris Hilton. Nick mm -hmm. or? Nick. Nick did. And guess what? Menstruation. Since we were talking about it last week, what pops up on my YouTube feed? Menstruation. Aaron Carter. Check Aaron Carter out. He used to be a little kid. Yeah, and, then and now he's, he's like grown dreads. up. He's got a face tat, dude. He's got dreads and stuff at the moment. Nah, he's got a face tat. Man, it was entertaining. His interviews are great, but fuck me. Paris if you Hilton is putting her own If you want to feel better about yourself, watch those interviews. Anyway, I've almost lost my page. Putting her periods into the... Surely that it's is... It's got to be against the law. Some sort of review standard there that stops people from doing apparently that. nick carter was accused of um rape disgusting. beating paris hilton yeah i've he, heard that he strongly and apparently aaron talks allegedly about nick carter they were just sparring they were just having a spar and he fucking clipped him on brother aaron goes <laughs> and i fucking fell into the rabbit hole i watched house of carters a reality tv show with all the carters oh. fucking hell drama God. Oh, yeah. Is that new or old that's it's like old, 2006 man. very old okay. L listen to this it's on youtube Anyway, I've got a great life. This is the P.O. Box uh, thing that we picked up today. L listen to what's inside. Sounds like, I don't know, you tell me. Pills? It feels like one of those fucking... Oh, yeah. Do we get to... Oh, we have to open it now or later? Oh, wait. Let's do our prediction. Three. Ooh. Oh, no. We'll do the questions first, and then we'll have a feel of this, and we'll make our predictions. Yeah, well, you stop jumping segments. Yeah, uh, we can't I'm help excited. Ourselves. I'm excited. All right. Next fucking segment has been renamed. Hey, 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 And this is a segment where we just answer questions that you guys have sent in on YouTube, 
DM'd us questions. We're going to, uh, by the way, we're going to keep the question segment a bit shorter this week. And then, so there's room for our secret segment. I want to read out some of these secrets. It's insane, Michael. Pulled his hair a bit then, didn't I? Fuck you! <laughs> Whoa. That was good. All right, I got to fucking wake up. Why Have are I- you looking at questions? Isn't it my turn? All right, fuck yeah, fuck. I've got I've got ten from YouTube. Yeah, so. that'll do. Fuck Instagram questions this week. Sorry, everyone who sent them in. Um, oh, I had a guy write, <laughs> "Dear Marty, please speak German" <laughs> several times. <laughs> but I said, "Das mache ich nicht mehr." You wohnen hier in Australien. All right, this one is from. Was bist du? Ad- Photoshopper, bad Photoshopper. Um, I can feel my pimples on my face. <laughs> I can seriously feel them. Page hey, bad gone. Photoshop on my bed to help you. Page is nearly gone. Um, do humans actually feel pain? Only, uh, yeah. yeah. And as do. scientists of pain, you should be able to answer that. Well, yeah, you can see that's that's pretty uh, easy question to answer. Just look, watch our videos. There is a disease that basically fucks your nerve endings up and you cannot feel pain. We should get that, maybe. That's for, for a video. We should get that and then we can do some... Uh, that, the experiments, there will be no bounds to the experiments we can perform, Matt. Tell mm. him. Dimensions and for uns. Dimensions and for uns. Dimensions and for uns. Next question. <laughs> uh, this one comes from JC. Doubt it. Can humans grow? Yeah, we did this the other day, but we haven't posted it yet because we don't know if Facebook's going to delete our fucking page. <laughs> so, is JC... Thanks for reminding us. JC. You fuck! We, yeah, we do an experiment called Can Humans Grow Like Plants or Do Humans Just Grow Like Humans? So, um, and you know, some pretty interesting results. Tell them. Pretty interesting results, Matt. Pretty. Tell them. Next question. This one is from Kitchen Demon. Oh, fuck off. No, it is. It sounds like some sort of kitchen appliance brand. Our page is almost gone. Demon. I've got acne. <laughs> If you guys could have a threesome with absolutely anyone in the world, who would they be? And it doesn't matter if they've already kicked the bucket. Mm, dead or alive? Fuck. Mm, Steven. Yeah. He's so, I'm guessing you have to be Stephen your Hawkins. girlfriend and someone extra. No, us two together. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Surely that's what the question means. Mm. Sorry, um, that is right. Um, yeah, well, Stephen, for you, I'm not going to say the same answer, but yeah, Stephen, you could, you know, he's a stiff skeleton. You could flexible. Lots of little crevices you can stick things in and little pockets of air everywhere and lots slippery of, bits. Lots of saliva. Yeah, lots of drool and he's got fucking bags of shit pouring Always out of him. Always lubricated. Constant just leaking everywhere. So, he'd be a good laugh. You could roll him in sand and see where all the moisture is. Hmm. <laughs> I would probably have a uh, threesome with um oh you uh I don't know if you guys would know but um yeah there's this massive massive like I'm talking at least twice the size of your average cow <laughs> up in Rockhampton there's this monster cow what's his name Brahman Brahman with heaps of A's. B R A H H H H H hyphen man. Is it a man or a woman? It's a big old cow, eh? Oh, yeah. Like, what breed or fucking sex is it? It's a Brahman. Dairy? Is it dairy? No, it's a, um, what do you, what do you call him? The, 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 the Brahman. Brahman. Ah. It's just, it's a play on, its name is a play on it. Words it's a crazy I had a breed. fucking dream that I had sex with a cow the other night. That could be a premonition. I want to go up to Rockhampton soon. We'll that would be, flights. that would be, whoa, that would be a feat. And I reckon if we did it together, we could definitely do it. You would get I, I would, stomped. As long as we fucking didn't kill it. You would get fucking stomped hard. We don't kill them. We just fuck them hard. Do they kick back when you go up behind no, them? It is a struggle. It is a big, violent fight. Let me tell you half of it. Let me tell you half of it right now. Okay. Next question. Um, the next one is from Call of Duty 23 Lopez, um, who I think is a regular because I've seen that number before. It's nearly gone. Um, it's nearly over. Oh, if you and Marty were both wearing sumo suits, who would win in a fight? Um, 
well, I'm a lot heavier. Yeah, so he's I'd, stronger than me. I would say probably uh, myself. But if we went for a um, run in sumo suits, Michael would probably bloody be very close, evenly matched. Isn't that right, Michael? That is correct, Martin. He's a fit boy. He can run long ways, which is good if you're chasing animals. You know, I found out that the... Um, Forgot what country, but bloody humans used to just catch animals, hunt them by just running after them, and they'd the animal would run away, and then the human would catch up, and the animal would run away. What they tire up, out? Then they get so fucking tired that they just the humans would just keep going and fucking they just outfit them. That it makes sense, don't you think so? Don't you think so, my friend? Yeah, I'm thinking that. Sorry. Listen to this. Sounds like a door, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. Some sort of uh, remix here, is there? Anyway, continue. Need some oil. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was so fucked. I didn't even know what that, that was coming, man. Oh, you blocked my nose up. Usually I get an email warning first. <laughs> you Page. blocked my nose and ears. Page is nearly gone. Um, next one is from Lachlan Wall. Uh, when's Shami making an appearance? Yeah, he's, he was meant to come on a little while ago. He's fucking bending his fist off now. So it's sort of like, you know, we, we want to bloody hang out with them, but they're just so bloody pissed all the time. You know what I mean? I was like, well, fucking, that was soon. We will get them on, hopefully, before the season's over. Maybe for the season finale, say that. Maybe, Maybe for, for the, the season, season finale, finale, say, say that. that. Next question is from NK Silver. How many times has Michael gotten crabs? He's nearly gone. Uh, what? Two uh, times? Oh, fucking, what's it called? Jock itch. That sucks. Yeah, and you've had crabs in your asshole, too, from the when that dude fucked you with heaps of pubes. I've had hemorrhoids galore. Thick bush pubes and there'd be crabs dug into your skin, remember? Do you bleed a lot when you get your hemorrhoids? Yeah. When you shit? Uh, it's funny when we used to go traveling, um, as the, as the, because we'd go for long periods of time and we'd be drunk the entire time. And as the trip went on, Michael's hemorrhoids would appear. And they were like, worse. Like little bloody, uh, little signs that we were having a good time, weren't they? <laughs> it's like a flag saying, hello, I'm you having a great time. <laughs> you can't. They? And then they would grow and they would grow and grow. And every day we'd have a good look at, and inspect them. And then by the end of it, it's like a fucking marble on his asshole. Bigger than a marble, like a ping pong ball. Yeah. I remember you can't cough, you can't sit down. It hurts too much. Oh, does he get that painful? Dude? Oh, yeah. But I, I didn't stop. I haven't had one yet. I didn't fucking stop, Matt. You don't stop when the hemorrhoids come. You, you stop. Push you get used to the pain. It's like... It's like having a headache. Yeah. I think. Next question is from Sarah Irons. She's nearly gone. Uh, what tattoo do you regret ever getting? None. I love them all dearly. I love my first as much as I love my last. They're not good quality. They don't look good. We but started self-harming. But okay. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, what did you say, Michael? Some, whispered something about self-harming, I believe. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just so down. No, no. I uh, thought yours would be your ex-girlfriend's name. Hey, we aren't. Wait, I didn't even listen to the question. Oh, just, Repeat it. And just to be clear, we are not self-harming everyone and we don't- What tattoo do you re regret ever getting? Page is nearly gone. Oh, I hate everything. Um, <laughs> well, I can't, you got to do a third time. I fucking can't concentrate. What tattoo do you regret getting? Oh, none. Yeah, You're neither fine. do I. No, not even the ex getting tattooed on you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, that was me. I put that there. <laughs> a piece no, of Yeah, that's, regret. I had that for years, but I got that covered up. <laughs> oh, covered okay. Up. Is that worse than... Or was that worse than getting herpes on your ass? <laughs> oh, that's fine. It's fucking... It's funny having that there. And I've got like Pero's name there now. Yeah, that's all right, though. That's nice. Yeah, I just had to get that one covered up. Yeah, yeah who's got HIV on them? I do. HIV oh. positive. Anyway, moving but, on. But they are fucking, yeah, I love them all. Like, everyone's like, I hope it's fucking worth it with the feet tattoos. It is. Of course it is. I fucking They're love your feet. it. feet. I love your foot tattoos. And all you got to do is put some socks on and problem is gone. And not only that, people see them and they think, oh, fuck me. They That's, are unique. It's funny. I won't lie. They are very unique. Yeah. Shake my hand. Um, the next, next is question good. is from Booger Monster. I doubt that. Uh, what types of tea do you boys drink? Uh, well, green. I like my green teas. Um, Ginger glow. Get on board with it. <sighs> Lemongrass. Oh, and fuck. Did you hear that? Sounded mm -hmm. like half frog. Ooh. Sounded like the grudge. I just saw a fairy. 
Um, <laughs> She's nearly gone. Which Next is- question uh, is from Johnny Reb. Johnny, I don't get your question. But I'm going to read it out. Maybe you can put a comment in and explain. But uh, he says, um, "Have you ever bought a pair of gloves? Like like gloves? Like yeah, like gardening, gloves. gardening gloves, boxing, and boxing gloves, gloves, gardening gloves, uh, gloves that look good. We bought um, Shit. just gloves." Yeah, all sorts of different types of gloves, isn't there? I want to hear Johnny Reb's story behind him buying gloves. Um, Next question is from Ben Stiller. And he says, and this is the final question, by the way. um, What's your most... Censorship will take us. (laughs) (laughs) What's your most crazy psychedelic story? He did say skits, but it didn't work. Um, oh man I've been with the mechanical elves I've fucking shot up to the mother nature's little room in the universe She told me that I'm a piece of shit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I've always been quite sensitive to psychedelics But I found a method which works really well And this is probably my most loved psychedelic experience You take a small amount, half of the dose And you have to wait a little while You wait three hours Because the first time when you're coming up You get all skittish and anxiety filled And like it's a bit scary But to get rid of that You just have a half dose So the effects, uh, the skittish effects aren't so bad and Then as soon as you start coming down a little bit You can have as much LSD and acid as you want Without any of the negative effects so, yeah. so that that one time we did that and then I fucking had a bunch of it and then, oh my God, it was fucking magical. It was like, I remember lying under the, just lying on the ground, looking up at the ceiling fan and I could see the wind coming off the ceiling mm. fan and it was storming that night and man, it was like, oh. going out in a storm would be pretty cool. Yeah. Water, if you go swimming on acid. Holy yeah, remember shit. when we went to Comes Mushroom off, Mountain? Like, string. Mushroom yeah. Mountain, we were watching the at the on the there's like a, a bar that overlooks a beach and you can get mushroom shakes. And we got fucked for the first time there on psychedelics and you, the water was so fucking beautiful. <gasps> and then fucked out of our brains, we were trying to walk home and then we bloody ran into bloody two people that we'd met the night before and we were just like, no, we don't want to fucking talk to you right now because we were so fucking fucked up. Oh <laughs> yeah, you get paranoid. <laughs> But if you really want to dip into the deep, deep side of it, then do L- like not just LSD, do fucking DMT. DMT. And my God, that will change you forever. If you do that properly, if you actually do that properly, that will fucking change you forever. Are you listening, Matt? Will you ever do it or what? 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 Matt! Oh, oh, Matt! Oh, 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 I can't! (laughs) (laughs) Ooh, (laughs) alright. Um, alright, guys, that's the end of the fucking questions this week, is it? Correct. Alright, let's read some of these secrets. It's next segment name, which has been renamed to. I wish we shut all the fucking doors. I just realized. And this is a segment where we just read out your secrets. We don't mention names or anything. Your secrets are safe with us. We don't even look at the names. You can get your own secrets, secrets from your mother, secrets from friends, anything. We won't mention names. I promise you, your secrets are safe with us. Send them through. Yeah, just please. Secret time. I once shut myself in central London. I was running around trying to get back to my hostel with shit all down my legs. I went to a train station bathroom to try and clean it up. I was literally trying to shovel my shit into the toilet. Didn't work, so I managed to jump in a taxi and get myself back to the ho- to my hostel. Thank God taxis in London's London have glass between myself and the drive because, Jesus Christ, I was sitting in my own shit. Man. Fuck. Oh, That's that- th- I've got way worse shit what, yeah, what, I wouldn't, mm. what, what, And what? I don't even make them secret. I would take the undies out. Oh. Off, put the shorts back on, like wipe your ass. Yeah, undies and then should take the Rinse the, the undies. fucking undies or, or dump, dump them. The dump undies. them. Yeah, no, you get in rid case of them. you shit again, because he's got, he or she has got diarrhea. So, in case you shit again. You just hold it. Like, unless, the only times I fuck up is when I, like, you know, when you go to fart, but it's not the right idea to do that. Shit! Oh! Yuck, it never gets any easier looking at that. Perhaps you should <laughs> turn away. 
I have to hear. I'm the decibel reader. Yeah. We've got headphones on, mate. You can bloody hear. You can hear it. Oh, it's such a thick air. It's grass. <laughs> It's weed grass. Dude. Oh, yeah. Shit stories. Fucking the time of the bathroom became just a shit storm. The time that there was shit all over me and my mum found me. And the time that I couldn't hold a shit in, I shat all over someone's fucking lounge room floor. Michael's, Michael's shat a lot. A lot remember the time we fucking tried to warm ourselves from the shit? Yeah. Michael would use shit in jokes. We've told this story before where there was a period of time when, where friends would come over to Michael's house when he lived with his parents still. And Michael would go to the bathroom and come out just holding his shit in his hand, being like, oh, mm. what do I do with this to freak our friends out? Many, many shit stories. I remember- you, you, like, shit, you, Everyone's like, wow, that's fucked. But yeah. Really, it's not that bad. It's just, it's your poo. I have a memory of a, a friend of ours bringing a, a girl back to a house and- You she, made it. And she never really met any anyone before. And you walked out with a shit in your hand and went up to her and was like- Hey, what do I do with this? Oh, really? Which <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> is a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking autistic boy or something. Not sure what to do with the poo. <laughs> put it in my pocket or something. Isn't that right? <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> Next secret. Um, <laughs> if the first part of the secret's been cut off a little bit, but I'll just read on from here. Oh, maybe it's a five. No. Sorry. I understood what you were saying, but no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, in the 1970s, my dad was a clothing buyer and his old, and this old guy used to sell shower robes to my dad through their companies. The guy was an old European Jew and got along with my pops, but my dad noticed the old guy was always looking out of the corner of his eyes and weird shit. My dad finally goes, hey, how come whenever you're here, your back's always against the wall and you stand in the corner? The old guy knew my pops was a Jew, so he trusted him. He pulled him to another room and told him, told my dad a bunch of shit. In the 50s or 60s, he was basically one of the first Israeli Mossad CIA agents. Wow. He was one of the guys who went to Argentina and kidnapped Adolf Eichmann, the architect of the Holocaust's final solution. It was an international mega story and they just made a movie on it. Yeah, I asked what the movie was. I really wanted to watch it. I love that shit. Holy shit. How crazy is it? I think it was- a secret and a half. Fucking Operation Paperclip was like half the Nazi scientists and fucking people who killed all the Jews got away and fucking fucked off either to America to become scientists there or to Argentina and hid there. Did you know that? Yeah, there's a, there's a whole series called Hunting Hitler, which... Hitler, yeah, yeah, there is a conspiracy that he got away. Like, I don't know much about that, but fuck, that's crazy. Yes. But I think the film he's referring to is called uh, Operation Finale or fin- Final. Yes. And uh, it looks like Ben Kingsley plays that Adolf Eichmann. And ben yes. Kingsley's a legend. My computer. Next secret. Secret for the Thank podcast. You. So, I live in the United States. I am a husband, a father of four, a former teacher, and and I am also a peeping Tom. It's been a fun hobby of mine for years. I've been caught several times and have paid dearly each time. I've been fired from the school, the post office, and and most recently, a gas station. I've been kicked out of my apartment, and now no one will rent to me because of my pervert sex charges. My, my wife hates me. Her family is creeped out by me and I'm currently unemployed. I go to court next Thursday. Jesus, that is Man, fucking crazy. You probably shit. try and cut that one out, hey. Why? That's great shit. No, this is exactly what we wanted. No, not cut it from this as in fucking cut that habit out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, if your wife, wife hates you, you if think your happening? wife would have left you? 100%. Imagine if if your fucking husband's this creep that like fucking looks at your sisters and shit. Constantly though. Not just one. It's not just a one off. He's been caught several times. Several times. So he's not going to stop. So if it's, if it's, you know. Yeah, just go down swinging. If it's bringing him joy, go for it. No one's getting hurt. Just don't fucking cross the line and start touching people. And start touching people and shit. Just look from the distance maybe. Yeah. And don't fucking be naked or batting off. Just fucking. Yeah, just have a fucking look. Oh, yeah. wait, wait. It's probably... Wait, are you watching them naked or something? Is that know. what they look through? The, yeah, the windows naked. It, like, chicks getting fucking undressed and stuff. Mm. Remember? Yeah, I remember that. Mm. That was mm. a crazy little time of our lives. Mm. Next secret. My best mate and his missus set up a blind date for me. Turns out it was my first cousin. My cousin and I decided to play along with it. Anyway, one thing led to another. We were smashing cocktails, snorting packet. 
still playing along with it anyway. Yeah, the sex was really fucking good. <laughs> Surely that's a joke. He's fucked his cousin to fucking for a story for the boys. <laughs> yeah, da boys. Oh, it's quite common in other countries. S- excuse me, Matthew. What an assumption to make. Are you saying every no, knows- every other country except for Australia is incestual? Is that that's- what you're saying? I didn't well, say every country. I said some. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty much the same these Sydney? days, mate. Something that's like saying little or big. Well, have you known? Same thing. Tasmania is rife with incestualness. Yeah, holy shit. I really want to go there. Not for that. Just for the mountains. You've got a sister. You've got a sister. Have you ever? When's the last time you saw your sister Surely naked? Surely you boys would have seen your sisters naked before. No memory. I can't Oh, Matt, mine. come on, man. You, both of you are fucking pulling my leg. When's the last time you saw your fucking sister's tits? Both of yous. I can't remember. Oh, f- I honestly cannot. Remember. Okay, well, give me a rough. Like before 10. Before 10. So, not, she didn't really even have boobs. Yeah. Man, maybe when I was seven, six or seven. I don't know. I don't know about that, boys. When's the last time you saw your brother's cock? I don't um, have a brother. Whoop! Cock. I don't know. Maybe uh, I caught a glimpse when we lived together in um, Brisbane, maybe? Ooh! You got it adult style. Ten years ago, <laughs> I can't really remember either though. But yeah, probably then, or um, oh yeah, when we were little German boys. Ach du lieber. Oh, tschüss, tschüss, Wasser, Wasser. Oh, mein, mein Willy. Oh, mein Willy. Is that actually fucking how you say it? Yeah. It reeks in here. You fucked the whole room. Excuse me. I am trying to read secrets. Okay. Proceed. My parents thought I worked three jobs in order to buy my first home, when in fact, I was a prostitute for three years. Damn. I actually saw that one. And she's got a photo with a... Looks to be Mamie Osmond. Mamie Osmond. Uh, That's too much. I don't know. We can give that away. We're revealing too much. What do you mean? Everyone's... Oh, yeah, you're right. No one else has got a husband in this world. No, but it, ru- it rules out a lot of people, you know what I mean? Well, okay, boyfriend. I don't know if they're yeah. married or not. All it's right. just one little we, circle picture. Well, you can't even go... In, her, in her profile picture, there is a male, all right? We won't make any more assumptions. Our page is going. Stop putting that out there. If you manifest that, I'm going to be so cross with you. So cranky. Anyway. What would we do? What do you mean? We've already talked about that. Yeah. Next secret. When I was 17 years old, my next door neighbor wouldn't give me my football back. The next day I went to see if I could sneak over and get it back, but the stupid blonde labradoodle fuckwit dog had chewed it to pieces. I felt like it was payback time. I noticed she had left her sunroof open on the car. I grabbed her dog, twisted its head off, and threw it into the car. No. No, I'm lied. I made that last bit up. I noticed she had left the sunroof open to her car, so I squatted and took a huge shit straight through the sunroof of her car. I was laughing so hard midway through doing the shit. It was a disaster when I looked in the car. (laughs) You know how, like, there's that that one fucking... Fuck it. There's that one fucked family in the street. When you're a kid. All right. This fucking, I won't say their last names. Bro. Fucking hell. It's pretty funny, their last names. And they all had red hair, red curly hair. Okay. Or Doyle. Yeah, like that. And me, my cousin especially. This is the one, the one that pushed the fucking toddler over. The little 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 sick puppy, that boy, isn't he? Yeah. Anyway. (laughs) He, yeah, great in other ways, though. Like, this is hilarious, I think. He'd always fuck with... And I'd sort of help out. We'd always fuck with this family. We just didn't... I don't know. It was... You had no respect. <laughs> yeah, we were kids. And we... Yeah, like, it got to a point where we, like, would shit on their doorstep and leave the shit there when they were away. <laughs> so, they'd come back and they'd come back to shit on their doorstep. <laughs> and this same family, my cousin was with them and they were going through all their videotapes trying to find a new movie to watch. And they put the videotape on and the, the younger brothers of their family were like fucking three and six. And then they put this tape on and it was their parents, the redheaded family. Fucking. Their parents fucking. And then they watched it. They watched their own parents fucking. At like three and six years old. Oh, wow. And he was probably does. like, I don't know, we were fucking like eight, seven then. Did and, he know and- that that video had that on there? No. It was just chance. Oh. That's so good. I'm enjoying that. And the same family, 
I remember I was walking. Are they to okay my friend's with you place. telling them that? That's, that's we don't. They don't fucking know that we didn't say the last name. Oh, well, just everyone, see if anyone who listens can track the, these people down and send them a message. <laughs> and I remember one time we were walking to our friend's place and we found this ball and we shoved it up the uh, exhaust pipe of the car. Mm. And did I tell you this one time? No. Anyway, we walked it and we were just safe at our friend's place playing PlayStation, having fun. And then our other friend was walking over to that place, went past the car and the car got turned on while he's walking past and the ball shot out and hit our friend <laughs> on the way to our place so he got it was karma in our group we put the ball up the exhaust pipe our friend walks past us they turn we're hoping the car would blow up like we, were, yeah anyway it didn't and then bang our friend got hit with the ball that, dude that's a fucking video yeah that's a great story we could what turning cars car, into guns car, car cannon car, car, car cannon, cannon. Put the, put, put, the, put the different thing in the exhaust. It's just cannon. It's shit out. It's a cannon. It's a cannon. The car's a cannon. Wait, that reminds me. Carl Stepanovic DM'd us the other day. You guys know Carl? The, yeah. The morning show guy? What did he want? Yeah, did you know this? Remember no. back, back in the day, we used to, when we were fucking drunk and shit, before Fuck. we were verified on Instagram, we used to just fucking message other celebrities and shit oh we've messaged a lot and and so i the second of march <clears throat> must have been drunk or something this i sent this message to carl hey mate just me here are we still on for friday morning drinks <laughs> bring some <laughs> bring some mints and he said he replied just last saturday for sure <laughs> and then I replied saying Carl mate I don't even remember sending you that that was back in March hope you're well buddy and he said I remember happy to have a beer anytime Ooh. not only that some motherfucking news messaged Wim Hof yeah, not fucking last week as well and his son got back to us and we've been penciled in when all these we're restrictions, a when all these restrictions are lifted, we 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 are invited to the influencer event. We get to go hang out with Wim Hof. If you don't know who Wim Hof is, go and go YouTube him and watch that Vice documentary. It's fucking insane. He's the Ice Man. Okay, he's pretty much the next Jesus Christ. I love that guy. Don't anyway, I? yeah, we're climbing a mountain in our fucking undies. Shorts. I want to go on my undies. Shorts. G banger. I want to go on a G banger. That is the end of secrets. Keep them coming, guys. That was some fucking good ones. We we have That's heaps good. of them. So if you sent one last week, we'll try and get through them as much as we can. Okay. That's secrets time. Um. And and now look at this. It's a, it's the next segment, which has of course been renamed. <laughs> Your headphones fell off. <laughs> And there's a segment where we just open shit that you guys send into our PO box, and the PO box is written right here. Have a look. 256. You people listening, you can't see. PO box 256, Tagum 4018, Queensland, Australia. All right, now first we're going to have a bit of a feel and see if we can guess what this is. Oh, My feeling. guess is that it's a small container containing. Could be, uh, hey. That was fuck. You looked like you were fucking possessed then. Sorry about that one, guys. Oh, it's thick. Thick air. Hey, uh, Shafafu. I sort of forgot what we're talking about then, but uh, um, what, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're guessing what this is. Yeah. It feels like a small container. Something where you would, um, tomato. It's all bruised. Swallow it whole. Okay. <laughs> what will happen? Oh, 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 he's got a joke. Dude, did you fucking just fucking swallow? Oh, I just did. It hurts. Yes, dude, that was yeah, very fucking big. Yeah, you're not big. meant to do that. Michael just swallowed an entire cherry tomato. <laughs> it could have gotten stuck. It Can gotten... it still with something going to go wrong? No, you're yeah, maybe. Oh, Jesus God, you stressed me out. <laughs> you're going to shit out of... <laughs> yeah, I want to see it come out whole. <laughs> If it does come out, I'll take a photo. No, no. Can I wash it and eat it again? 100% you can, man. Okay, anyway, cool. let's move on with what we're doing. And that's stunt time. <laughs> Fuck me. Swallows a whole fucking You told me to. It. Yeah, I, was, I didn't think you'd fucking do it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think this is a little jar full of some sort of pills. Oh, man. It's like here. It feels like it's here in my heart. Oh, that's a big fucking thing, man. Your body has to break that down now. Oh, uh, what do you think it is? 
I think we got Valiums. Don't don't say that. No, I think it's and a. I'm out. I'm out of a Valiums, little pack so. of um of uh, what are you putting in your teeth? Toothpicks. Oh, fuck you. You <laughs> fuck. Oh, I would hate that. I'm gonna laugh. It is. All right, it's a little jar. What do we have here? Uh, it's oh, it's the berries. We got the oh, berries. Oh, the berries. This wasn't in the P.O. box, was it? So, guys. <laughs> oh, it is? Nature's Wild Berry, LLC. This, we're going to do a video of these. Apparently, uh, these make everything taste sweet. Well, let, we're going to put that straight to the test and Michael's going to eat a human shit. Yeah, that's for our website, though. We can't put that yeah, one on. Uh, Facebook will fucking delete us more. So, I think, what do you do? You eat this first and then drink the lemon juice? I can't see anymore. All right. Well, I'll put it in your hand then if you can't see. All right. The berry itself is mm. delicious. Make sure you keep it in your mouth for a while. Oh, whoops. <laughs> we'll suck on it. Oh, fuck me. It's good. Like a okay? okay. Are they healthy? Yeah. Pardon? Okay. Oh! So now I'm going to have this uh, just lemon juice. It's 99% lemon juice, usually very sour. Bottoms up. Mm, not bad. I wouldn't say sweet, but definitely not bad at all. It tastes like lemonade. It tastes like fucking lemonade. Mm, it's yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Fucking lemonade. Oh, there we go. Lemon. Just a couple of limes here too, bro. Mm. 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 Now we've uh, got a lime here. We're going to shove it in our fucking gobs. Mm. Swallow that whole market. Fuck, that is good. Mm. Mm. Holy shit. This tastes like mm. a, like a, an apple or something. Or an orange. It tastes like an orange. A mandarin. Mm. 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 <laughs> Mm. 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 That's how Michael eats ass. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's the story this right. week. So it works. This, this berry works. That was fucking delicious. If you have a kid who hates eating broccoli, give him one of these and then fucking that raw before dinner count. Yeah, it's a fucking... Wow. So we're going to do a video on these. We're going to eat some really fucking disgusting shit and um, and see what it does. Buy nature's wild berry. That's how you fucking shout that out. I can't find the Instagram message anymore. Thank you. We're going to do a video on our university. Matt? Oh. Mmm. Yum. We better not have any more, though, because otherwise... Okay, one more. Mm. All right, Sucks. moving on to our next segment, Michael's favorite. We have stunt time. Whoa, it was beautiful. You yeah, sounded like good, fireworks went off. that going? And, um, this, I have acne. This week uh, for the stunt, we are going to... Michael gets to pick... So we'll alternate. Michael gets to pick a body part. I get to pinch it. And then I get to pick a body part. Michael gets to pinch it. So on and so forth until someone gives up. The dick tip. You want me to pinch the dick tip? I, I don't to think pinch as half as I can. I'm as pinching hard it as, as hard can. as possible right now. It hardly hurts. Actually. It's not good that you can't feel your dick. Okay. I don't, I'm, I'm no, made papers, that up. I made ro- that up. Paper, scissors, rock, see who goes for who gets fucked first, cunt. Scissors. scissors I'm pa- going to go paper. Scissors, paper, rock. Ooh. I double, triple bluffed and he fucked it. All right, so what, what do you want? Do you want to pick the body part first or do you want to do the pinching first? A pinching first. Okay, my body part is the elbow. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Hard as you can, tear it. I want to dig my nails in no, and no, make him no, bleed. It's not, no, that's not yeah. a pinch. It's that's right. a fucking scratch. It's a pinch. You're pinching the skin and you can't do it for fucking 10 minutes. It's just one pinch. And go. I feel nothing. I feel nothing. Look at me. I've got a fuck. I'm bleeding after that. Look. You made me fucking oh, bleed. yuck. Why do you bleed so easily? Just a bit of, apply a bit of pressure to his skin. Leprosy. At least the berries will make the blood taste sweet. Mm. All right. Mm. What body part do you want me to pinch on kneecap. you? Kneecap. Oh, kneecap can be a little bit painful if you get it right. 
<laughs> Which sort of hurts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really right. frightening. Oh, um, I want you to pinch um, the back of my hand. Twist. My ho my ho my ho Is that her? <laughs> yes. oh! I'm bleeding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's your body part? Um okay. No! You said arm! You can't arm. take it back! It's a yeah. UMM. Do we need a referee? Yeah. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't. The shing ling fling cling clang clang. Twist it. The shing cling clang 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 clang. So that's my fingertip. <sighs> Ooh. Damn it. It's <laughs> genius. <laughs> um I would say my lip if your fingers weren't all bloodied up. Yeah, I'm all bleeding. Somebody just take a back of the arm just for the fans. Um I'm gonna say I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say my wrist. Oh, tangling thing. My wrist. Tangling, clinkling. Tangling, clinkling. Ha! Tangling. I fucking go as hard as I can, can too. too. Uh, I know what the body part. The palm. The palm. The palm. Can you clap with one hand? Show me. I want you to get my me gallop, all right, here, bro? Me gallop. Oh, that's gonna. Don't hurt. rip the hairs out. You have to pinch the skin. You fucking freak. My <laughs> 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 <Bye>, earlobe. <laughs> okay, okay, you did. <laughs> You pulled on it! You fucking pulled! Pull. You forfeit! You forfeit! 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 And that's stun time this week. Uh, Matt, how long have we been fucking gay? We're clear, uh, Oh, we're getting up there uh, 54 you can minutes. can see me now, Connor. Alright, well, guess what, everyone? It's the next segment. The next segment. I find it hard to muster the energy for these names that you give these Tell segments. me to give one a go. Yeah, go on. <laughs> and this is a segment where we just do a prank call. Um, and have we been sent in any new prank calls? I just got sent this uh, before we get into this. I just got sent. We, I'm just a notification come up. Another DM, a secret. Your page is gone. <laughs> Stop putting that out there. Someone said I steal balls of wine, and someone else said I once fingered my best mate's ass in self-defense. I thought I was going for the pressure point under his armpit. It turned out it was his asshole. How do you mess that up? It must be. It must have been a dark room. Matthew Brown, Jeffrey Epstein. Mm. Speaking, how can I help you? Yeah, g'day. My name's um Dre Thompson. I left my um Richie May there like um last week on like I think like Wednesday last week. Yep. Um, and I was just wondering like, is anyone had a chance to uh give a look yet? Cause when I dropped it off, right, the uh, manager said um that he'd give me a call back in the next couple of days, and it's been like seven days now. And um, yeah, I was just wondering like if you guys had a chance to read through it yet, or like if you need any more information on that, cause like. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. You know, I'm pumped. Yeah, um, I'm not quite too sure. Um, he's not in at the moment. He he went home a bit early today. Um, knowing that we've been pretty busy um, Thursday leading into Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the weekend, um, we have been pretty busy. I'm not too sure whether he has had a look at it. Sorry. No, that's all right. Well, I was thinking like, like how about this, right? Like, I could come in like for like for free trial. Like, I'll just come in, right, and I'll work for free. Like, you don't even need to give me nothing, like, nothing, maybe, like, just, like, I don't know, like, lunch. a drink or something for lunch or something, but I'll come in, work for free, right, 
And if you use like what I'm what I'm doing and that, then you just put me on then because like I'm raring a go, bro. And I just got bloody uh, the uh, bloody other job I had down fucking working at bloody Woolies. They they downsizing and that. So like I gotta I gotta move on, you know. I gotta put food in the table and that. But I'm willing to put put in the hard yards first. Yeah, I, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't make that call because um, obviously they're not they're not here at the moment, so I can't say yes. Um, but but if I go if, ahead, but, but I can um I can I can let them know when I see them um tomorrow morning because I'm in tomorrow morning when they are right and um whether they can give you a call back or not um no what well, well, well I'm thinking them. right well like like play this and and like try be like open minded here right? I will rock up tomorrow morning right and I say like I'm I'm here to work. And then I like I work for whatever, however as long you just want me there, I work and like like I'll just like, I'll just do whatever you just want, like help out or I'll, I'll like clean the floors and all that, whatever you just don't want to do, I'll do it. And like, cause then right, the manager will be like, far out, like this guy's working for free. Whoever said yes to this bloke coming in must be smart, follow too, right? And that's you. That's you saying that's that's you right because we're talking now. If you, if you say yeah yeah come on in tomorrow free trial right, you guys get extra worker right. Plus I get the free trial. I can show the boss what a good what a good bloke I am, what a hard worker I am. So win win there. The bowling alley right. The bowling alley wins because you got extra spare set of hands there working work on the floor. Because you get a and you win. As much as, as, no, as, mate, as mate, mate, I'm, mate, I'm mate, like mate. the idea and I'd like to say yes, unfortunately I don't have a, I'm not in that position where I can make that call. I to totally work. understand, mate. Well, listen, I, I, look, I'll look, look, say look, look, listen, mate, well, what, to, what time do you boys open in the morning? Is it nine, nine o'clock or something? Nine o'clock or something? Uh, yeah, it's nine o'clock, but even if you do turn up, I, I, doubt, I doubt the boss would say yes, so because they won't be in until tomorrow. Now, now that they've gone home, they don't they don't like to get contacted unless it's in an emergency. Um, they wouldn't they wouldn't really appreciate me going yes to someone coming in and then working X Y Z for free and then going well who the hell have we got here behind our counter you know yeah mate so, look, mate I totally understand right but hear me out right do you you got you got keys in that to lock up right. Even 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 if I did have keys, mate, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to. No get no no, I know, I know, mate, I know. I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I would never ask that of you. But I'm saying, right? If maybe, what, are you working tomorrow? Are you working there tomorrow? Because like we may as well start getting to know be, each other. I will, I will be I will be in at some point tomorrow. No worries. Well, we may as well start. We may as well start getting. What was your name again, mate? It's Bob. Boss. Bob. Bob. All right, Bob. Well, my name's Dre. Dre Thompson, Bob. And right, look. I'm I'm gonna rock up tomorrow. I know I know you don't, can't let me in or nothing, and you, and you have to say no, and you can't talk to the boss and that, right? But I'm gonna rock up eight thirty eight thirty five on the dot. That's when the bus gets in about eight twenty seven. I'll fucking walk up there. Takes me about eight minutes. I've already worked it all out. Already timed it all out. Already drawn it on my map. I'll get there eight thirty five, right? Ready for work. And all bloody when that boss rocks up, I'll have a chat to him, right? I'll have a big old chat to him. See if he's keen to have me on. And I'll if he says yes. I'll bloody, I'll, I'll put in my bloody hard work, put in 110%, right? But if he says, no, I'll turn, I'll, pu- I'll put my hands up, say, I'll try it, and I'll turn around and I'll say, bloody, Bob's off. a good I'll bloke. Back I'll back right off. I'll fucking back right off, and I'll say, you got yourself a bloody good employee there, that Bob follow? I'll say that. I'll put in a bloody good word for you, Bob. I'll say that you are a bloody good mate of mine and that we're bloody good mates, and I'll tell your boss that tomorrow morning, bro. How's that bloody sound for you? No worries, mate. Yeah, mate, you can you can come and you can speak to him when we open. I don't know whether he'll say yes or no, but um. That's all off me, yeah, bro. All, all I can all I can all I can say is what I have been saying. Nah, mate, mate, that's. I don't have any authority to say yes or no. So, well, sorry, say yes. Totally get it, Bobby. Totally get it, brother. And that's all good. That's all I need. But, like, I just need, like, a small little finger in the door or something. And I'll come in. I'll show you boys how hard I am, bro. And I'm getting in. I'm doing my best for you boys. And you'll see. You'll bloody see me out, lad. And I'll see. Come in. I'm bowling out. Bowl a perfect game. (laughs) We'll go get a movie later on, eh, brother? Too easy, man. No worries. I'll see you in the morning, Bobby. See you later, mate, bro. (laughs) <laughs> they're gonna think that he's gonna fucking he's gonna tell his staff member his co-workers it's a something fucking he's like, yeah he's bargain. not my friend he's not my friend <laughs>
that's just fucking covering his ears all the time. <laughs> I, like, I come in and out. And like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what about that little laugh that was in there? <laughs> I wonder what he thinks is wrong. Are we going to get a movie? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, he was so friendly. He yeah, took that so well. well. I would have been like, dude, I, I'm just going to be honest with you, but it's yeah, not going to work. You're a piece of shit. I didn't even say that. You are a piece of shit. Do not mention my name. That was good. That worked out really well. We should just do job. Like, yeah, just go, job Bob's on the job hunt. <gasps> <laughs> or Dre. <laughs> I just thought of Darren and Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Dre. <laughs> oh, next one should be Kane. Uh. <laughs> Kane Dre. <laughs> My name's Kane Dre. <laughs> 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 We're the best. 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 We're the best.